Wow. Yeah. Very Hi guys, good morning. Oh, it's not steady. And today is an exciting day for is another exciting day for us. It's around 7 o'clock in the morning and we are heading to Suez, Manitoba. And Suez, Manitoba is what is a small community or municipality here in Manitoba but we love it so much because of um, it's very peaceful and it, yeah it's very quiet it's very simple and we would like to share the joy that we felt when we were there with our friends and we will be stopping from different uh, in different places and we would like to see them around we will be going to Suris via highway too and I hope that you will also enjoy the views and the sceneries our first stop is a community which is a 14 minute drive from Winnipeg, Starbucks. So guys, that's our first stop, the Starbucks, and now we're going to... So we're going to St. Claude. So the tall boy is here if you want. Take the next left onto Manitoba 240 South, signs for Rose Isle. Is that is that breakfast? No, it's like a dinner. <laughs> dinner. <laughs> dinner at breakfast. Ham <laughs> dinner. Yeah. Thank you. So guys, we stopped uh, for breakfast at Tallboy's Pub and Grill. Great food and service. After breakfast, guys, we proceeded to the Saint Claude Museums. It was actually closed when we came, but uh, you can call the in charge and they opened it for us. Thanks to Robert for his patience in answering our questions, um, giving us a tour of uh, the six museums, I believe, very eligible. You may be aware, this is a, a French community. community, that's yeah. right, so people still mostly speak French. Um, St. Claude is known for its pipe, because we have a big pipe here, so people don't have anything to do with pipes, but uh, St. Claude in France was the world capital for making pipes oh, oh, nice. in, uh, in 125 years ago. <laughs> Hey, wow. <laughs> okay. This cenotaph, guys, in uh, St. Claude is unique in Canada in that it shows a statue of a Canadian soldier on one side and a French soldier on the other side. Um, the monument was erected to honor the 16 brave individuals who died in the First World War. This year, 2021, um, they are celebrating its centenary. Of course, don't forget to take pictures at the railway which is close to the cenotaph. So guys, we are entering the rural municipality of Trent. So guys, we visited the glass battle house, bathroom, church, and wishing well in Trehern, Manitoba. The chapel is made from 5,000 liquor bottles. This was made by Bob and Dora Kane and Fred Harp. Still in Trehern, Manitoba, the Second Chance Car Museum is a place for you if you are into vintage cars. See that one guys? They really have a good experience here at Return. At the Second Chance Car Museum. Wow! Yeah! Very good! Thank you so much Ken for that wonderful and memorable experience. How's the experience? Very great! Thank you! Right. So hi guys, this is Holland, <laughs> Holland, Manitoba. Holland Manitoba's windmill is a great roadside attraction. Um, they have mini golf for the kids and it was worth the photo opportunity for us. 
Hi guys, our next stop and uh, our last stop before Soris is the municipality of Glenboro. Meet Sarah the Camel. She is an emblematic of the spirit sense, commonly referred to as the Manitoba Desert. <laughs> <laughs> so, sir, how's your experience oh, I'm, I'm, so far? I'm really good. That's uh, the first experience. So, yeah. Manitoba is Manitoba, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what about that uh, riding the car? Oh, it's riding the car. Uh, you know, it's a very long story because sometimes I feel slip, but it's okay. My wife is standing behind me, so. Yeah. What about that um, vintage car? The vintage oh, car. the vintage car! Awesome, very great. It's very my awesome. first time to to ride in the yeah. 1939. 1929. Uh, what you call it? Car. Yeah. yeah. It's nice. It's easy. The one too is really fantastic. Yeah. Any questions on that? Si para na ubusan ako ng question. Hi guys, time check. It's like 3:10 in the afternoon. Over at Glenboro, we took a small snack, a short snack, a smaller short snack there, and now we're heading to Suris. And so, guys, after the very long, exciting, full of surprises travel, we arrive at Suris, Manitoba, and we checked in at the Suris Hotel. Uh, you know, you know. This is very important to us, you know. They, they, they don't know how, how to use it. And you are probably nice now. The what? Oh. A, a carrot? Uh, the coffee maker? Yeah. That's the first time to use it. Oh. <laughs> I really love the salad. And the, with the pizza, the first one is the Yeah. But. After that early dinner, guys, from the most recommended Wood Fire Deli, we also visited some of the historic sites in town. The Plum Museum is the oldest remaining public building restored to its original Victorian plum and chocolate colors in Suez. You can also visit guys the Railway Museum if open and experience the community's strong ties to the rail industry. Uh -huh. That's the bridge. This is the Suez Bridge. Hi guys. I'll, I'll, I'll I'll be on the bridge now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the guy, guys. You want to go here? Take one and go for it. And that's, you know, this is Suri's Manitoba. <laughs> Hi, guys. The Suri Swinging Bridge is one of Manitoba's star attractions. It became a popular uh, visitor attraction and is the longest swinging pedestrian bridge in Canada. You can also visit the Hillcrest Museum if open and it's just located adjacent to the swinging bridge. Guys, are you tired? No. No, invite me si Garado pagod na. Okay. Nag-enjoy naman kayo. Okay. Enjoy na enjoy. Kasama ng Team Liano at Team Macapo. I'm happy to go with your friend. <laughs> <laughs> Di ba pag wala yung kulay mo, you need to pay so much charge until you have the color or the number. Oh no! 
After a small rest at the hotel, we went back to the swinging bridge area and there we find the horse-drawn gasoline-fired fire engine displayed at the Suri's Fire Department Museum. And this is why you need to visit Suri's. Beautiful. Very scenic. Peaceful. You can have a wonderful time walking across the bridge with your favorite persons. This is truly an amazing and a tourist gem of Manitoba. Till our next adventures guys, see you, bye.